They weren't really given much discovery. They weren't given much in terms of notice of the charges. They had like the trial in like a gymnasium. It was very, very informal. Um, I believe they had one of the justices of the Supreme Court sit and preside um, over it. And uh, ultimately they, they convicted these dudes. And so um, Obama and Bush used that precedent to say that the military should be trying these people under a separate military standard. And here's the trick. We can create the rules of the military commission when we're convening the military commission. So the commission is just trial or tribunal. What rules of evidence apply? We will decide that when we convene the commission. And so what rules of evidence apply to Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? Um, they're going to have to fight for that. And that's one of the first fights in commissions. I was involved in capturing detainees and taking them off the battlefield. I was involved in housing them. I constructed a detention facility that housed eight detainees. And there were times when we were full and over capacity. And I got to see these detainees every day. And let me tell you this. Kindness was absolutely the thing that worked making sure that they had halal meals, giving them um, water. Sometimes um, the interrogators would show up and give them a smoke, but take the pack away, right? I mean, all of these, all of these different things uh, were very, very effective in after a few days, a week or whatever, we start to get a little bit more information. Certainly can't talk about what that information was, right? but I will tell you that um, waterboarding was not something that we were authorized to do.